Hello everyone, we will continue the change request two in our sales order report and based upon that, in the previous video, we created the custom table which has five columns. Now this is our functional specification and now we will go for the rest part of the change request. Firstly, we will add an additional button to invalidate the rows. And you all know this is application toolbar and we already created our own GUI status. And now we will add the extra button here, one additional button there. And you all know, yes, what is the syntax for the same set pf status name of the pf status now in this gui status which we created already we will now go for a additional button invalidate i'll go for change mode i will double click on the gui status i will expand application toolbar and now we will go for one additional button in validate. And you all know whatever you are writing here, that will be function code and you need to use in the coding also. So this is very important. Suppose I will write in validate. Okay. I will double click. You can see with the same name, we have the function code. I will go for OK. Now I will give the function text. Suppose I will go for same to same function text. I will choose the icon. You all know, yes, every button has a symbol, symbolic image. Suppose I will choose the icon for delete line items. Okay, delete line, we'll choose this icon. Anyways, in the screenshot also, we have same to same icon. Okay, we'll go for this. I will give the information. What is the information text? If I will see in the FS to invalidate the rows. So I will write here to invalidate the rows. I will go for OK. Now you all know every, every button has a function. Go Every button has a shortcut, sorry. So we will go for the shortcut. Suppose I will take Shift plus F5. Now I will go for OK. Now I will simply, simply activate. Now system is asking for transport request and anyways right transport request is coming. So I can choose or if you want to click on to own request button, you can use that also. I'll go for OK. I'll go to back button. I will activate the program. Now, if I will run, if I will go for date, you can see we have one additional button here. Whatever we gave, everything is coming here. Symbol is coming. We gave the information text to invalidate the rows. We gave the shortcut shift plus F5 and everything is coming here. Now, what is the next part of the requirement? Whenever user will select the rows, yes, user will select the rows and click on to invalidate button. Yes, those rows should not appear in the report smart form and adobe form and we need to store into this custom table 
whatever the table we created this is our requirement and you all know very very well whenever you will go for the buttons whenever you will perform the action on the buttons which particular thing will call user command because user is giving a command yes so we will simply simply write the logic in the user command i will go to back button i'll go to back button and this is our subroutine yes for the user command now here we will write the logic and you all know very very well yes whenever user will go for clicking on to invalidate button what is the function code of the button we gave invalidate so we will simply simply write if r underscore u com is equal to now what we want to go what is the function code invalidate now for every if there is a and if now i will simply simply choose the transport request now in between this if and and if we will write the logic to write to shift or to insert the rows to the custom table which we created and then we simply delete from the report also so we will write this whole logic into this if condition now the c and understand for the best clarity what i will do in another session i will show you in the debugging mode and then in parallel session we will write the logic that is always the best way to write the code always always open in the debugging mode then try to understand how your logic will be i will put a break point here i will run i have put the date now suppose i am selecting this row first row and third i am clicking on to invalidate button user command called yes so what is r underscore u com it is invalidate now what is your data internal table your data internal table is okay lt underscore tam underscore final now if you see in this lt underscore tam underscore final you have both the records which you selected now if i will go for lt underscore final now in this lt final you have all the data in lt temp final yes as a part of change request 1 yes we simply simply pass the selected line to the temporary internal table and yes in lt final we have all the line items now what is our requirement in lt temp final we have all the selected rows so what we will do whatever is in lt temp final and user is clicking on to invalidate button user is clicking on to invalidate button we will simply simply insert the records to which particular database table which we created so we will simply make a loop on to this internal table and we will pass the records to our pass the records to our custom table or database table which we created now i will put a loop on to this internal table lt underscore tam underscore file so i will write here 
लूप एट एल टी अंडर स्कोर टैम अंडर स्कोर फाइव फॉर एवरी लूप देर इज ए एंड नाउ लूप एट एल टी अंडर स्कोर टैम अंडर स्कोर फाइनल आई विल राइट इन टू वर्क एरिया इन टू एल डब्ल्यू ए अंडर स्कोर फाइनल नाउ इट इज टोटली विश यूर विश यू वॉन्ट टू पुट ए लूप ऑन टू दिस or you want to put a loop on lt underscore final if you are putting a loop on lt underscore final suppose if you are putting a loop on lt underscore final so in lt underscore final you have all the records selected also deselected also so in that case you need to go for a if condition here if एल डब्ल्यू ए फाइनल हाइफन सेलेक्ट इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल एक्स देन यू कैन राइट द लॉजिक हेयर इन दिस इंटरनल टेबल वी ऑलरेडी हैव द सेलेक्टेड रिकॉर्ड यस सो वी कैन डायरेक्टली गो फॉर दिस इंटरनल टेबल इट सेल्फ इफ यू डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर दिस इंटरनल टेबल यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर द एल टी फाइनल नो प्रॉब्लम because whatever the rows are selected we want to invalidate those records only so it means we need to check select should be capital x so you can go by if you are going by this internal table there is no need to check at all because in this internal table we are getting the selected records yes but in this lt final we have all the records selected as well as deselected so if you are going for lt final you need to go for a if condition for the same in the next video we will write the logic how to insert the selected records to the custom table custom database table and then how to delete so that's it in this video thank you